Our world is chaotic, but life found its way by channeling energy to create bring order to chaos. It is in our nature to seek signals amongst noise because it is through communication and exchange that we evolve beyond the darkness of chaos into the dawn of civilization. Our evolution thrives on exchange. Of all the info we try to convey, they flow through to the marketplace and forms the signals to regulate how we coordinate where things need to be. Christ speaks so we learn to compete. This drives us to efficiently shape the world with our voice. Now let the market speak. And so we build, we sow, we trade, we grow to meet our wants and needs. We specialize to drive from the mind our creations into reality. We make progress in our process to get more for less advancing society. We fought for dawn of the age of technology that harness the energy to reach prosperity. Our money embodies the power to reap what we sow. So the market becomes a channel for our collective energy to flow. When value is traded for value, we are aligned and so we evolve. This is how amidst uncertainty, life continues to grow. But the dawn of tech gave rise to light speed information exchange. So to transact fast, we further abstract money from energy constraints and became more aligned on a few large entities to coordinate trade, concentrating the power, resources, and authority to create more and more of our money, distorting its signals, eroding its worth and throwing us back into the darkness of chaos. When we destroy the mechanism of money, we destroy our ability to navigate through uncertainty. And when we can't trade value freely and directly, we must trust the few to govern the many. What happens when all our means center around an authority? Complexity builds, now coordination relies on conforming. Observe our thoughts to sense and descend and coerce our actions. Can there be true innovation when there's no freedom of expression? What happens to our voice for ones that shape social discourse? Now whose ideas get created and which problems get solved? If our progress depends on hearing many sides to resolve, then why would we humanity evolves. When we cut off the perspectives that make up society, we lose sight of the truth that forms our entire reality. Each person's contribution builds up our resiliency. Did we forget these differences of what strengthens humanity? When communication breaks, our words turn to silence. Our acts become violent and the world is divided amongst darkness. Truth is twisted by our pain and our bias, eroding the common ground making us more and more fragile. To navigate uncertainty, we must solve for robustness. So everything gets tried and tested by various efforts until we discover the system that best coordinates us, mirrors life's process of channeling energy to create signal from chaos. In the era of technology, we transform energy into computational power to process the noise of free markets and destruction order. Just by looking at numbers, we can derive how much power is required to reduce chaos and inscribe our whole value for all to verify that our transactions happen in line with shared rules. We don't need to seek trust when we can seek proof. It is real-time consensus that aligns us to evolve. This is how, amidst uncertainty, our lives continue to grow when we uphold our own rules. We preserve our own work and defend our own voice, which lets the true market emerge. The strength of the design lies in each of our participations, since we are the nodes that channel our energy end to end. As we claim responsibility to uphold our own rights, we radiate the power that brings our truth into light. And when that dawn of light touches all parts of the globe, and it ripples throughout society, and it returns us the hope that becomes the power that sparks humanity to thrive, that same power that fuels the creation of the mind. And when our mind and our money are truly set free, and they transcend the limits of past boundaries, now knowing becomes owning, and ideas become wealth. What happens now? We can all push to expand the edges of our existence. It is through evolution when things are the hardest. As we have for the light, we have to push through the darkness, and it's in these moments we do what we
do best. We take the chaos and the darkness and use our power to create. It is in these moments 